on and double fest. Get next, please protect. Get a brace if I play. Hello, everyone. My name is Dean. Let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is September 24th, 2022. And I'm here to tell you that not only has the bull market started, but we can expect this bull market to be as epic as the 2017 and 2020 bull markets in cryptocurrency, okay? So what I'm looking at on the DXY chart, the weekly chart, meaning every candlestick is a week's worth of trading, I'm seeing five waves up since 2011, okay? So I have my five cycle waves here. Uh, for cycle wave four, okay, is more complex than cycle wave two. Cycle wave five is what we're currently in, and I think it is at resistance. This dotted line to the top, as you can see here, is our 14, uh, yeah, 14 year resistance, okay, that we're butting our heads up against. But we've got something of a throw over. What is a throw over? Really quickly, a throw over is a move that you typically see when you chart or you uh, channel Elliott waves, okay? It's when uh, the wave five or sometimes wave three throws over just ever so slightly juts out against the resistance, the, the upper resistance of the channel. Okay, we've seen this before here in uh, Elite Wave Principle, Key to Market Behavior by Prechter and AJ Frost. You can see examples of this. They show the Dow Jones Industrial Average throwing over right in 1929. Okay, you can see it here. Um, so that's a typical move. That's a typical move. Okay, so we've got our throw over. And I don't think that this is something to overreact about, okay? If we go into our momentum uh, indicator, you can see that our weekly momentum is creating bearish divergence, okay? We have already on the monthly uh, an overbought momentum, strong overbought momentum. So we're pretty much close to the end, okay? And uh, what I'll say to this is if you go on the smaller time frames, now let's go on the, so let's go on the daily time frame. Okay. And I'm going to show you my more specific counts. Okay. So the daily time frame also shows you some overbought behavior. It's close, but not yet there. Okay. I do expect a little bit higher. Okay. We could stop here, but I do expect a little bit higher first. Before we go higher, I do expect some sort of consolidation right here. And then a move a little bit higher to the top of this conical resistance, okay? I think that what we're putting in here is a broadening uh, ending diagonal, uh, 33333 structure that I'm going to show you right now, okay? So here's my count for the intermediate and minor waves, right? So... Just as I said, you can see here, I've put in my primary wave. So I've got my primary count and then my intermediate count in parentheses, right? One, two, three, four. And then my minor count, which is the uh, ending diagonal, the diverging, right? Ending diagonal, it's like a broadening wedge. So three waves in one, three waves in two, three waves in three, three waves in four, and then our fifth wave, has three waves as well. One, two, three. So all we have to do essentially is count five waves in this movement. So let's jump down really quickly into a smaller time frame, four hourly time frame. And you can see here that we have the potential for one, two, three, four, uh, and Five. I think you're going to get a bit of an extended wave five since your wave three was just as long as your wave one. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing on the charts. Um, all that to mean the DXY will comply. The DXY will comp comply. It's at resistance. It's nearing its end. Okay. And more importantly, if we go back on the higher time frames, you can see that the DXY will eventually, after this um, sort of ending diagonal is finished, it will reject and it will reject sharply. Okay. How do I know that? 
it's highly probable, okay? No crystal ball here, but we do analysis based off of years and years of theoretical data that's founded, that's grounded in experience, okay? So back to Frost and Prechter, okay? And we can see that this, this uh, manual, the seminal text on, on uh, Elliott Wave Theory, it's not perfect, but it, it's, uh, you know, it's as, as good as we have in Elliott Wave Theory, I believe, okay? They talk about the targets for an extended wave five here, where is it? Um, here, okay, and I've highlighted it. Okay, when the fifth wave of an advance is an extension, the ensuing correction will be sharp and find support at the level of the low of wave two of the extension, okay? And here's an example of this right here. So focus on, on this count right here, you see that one, two, three, four, and a fifth wave extension, you get a zigzag A wave or initial break of structure targeting wave two of the lesser degree, okay? So typically we know that the A wave tar in a regular five, three, five, three, five extension, wave A targets wave four of the lesser degree, okay? But in an extension, you target wave two, okay? And you see that here, and there are other examples in this text. This is an advanced manual on Elliott Wave Theory. I highly suggest it if you're really serious about charting and Elliott Wave Theory. In any case, in our count on the DXY, this would take us down to this level right here, okay? This blue band that I've put in the chart. So this is our target between 97 and 98 points, all right? And this should come quite sharply because this is a zigzag. So do expect nothing but lower lows, okay? So a lot of times you get your initial break of structure, you come back up in some sort of flat correction, right? So you, you pull in something like this. I do expect, I think it's highly probable that we get a zigzag since wave five has been extended, okay? You get a zigzag, boom taking you. So it's nothing but lower lows, which would translate into nothing but higher highs for stocks, for crypto, for equities. Okay. I don't necessarily think that uh, the S&P 500, for instance, is going to just moon. I think it's going to correct up because it's in a corrective sequence. We're not going to talk about that in this video, but crypto we'll put in nothing but higher highs on that move down. Okay, so that was the DXY. Guys, if you're getting value, please like, share, and subscribe. Now let's move into Bitcoin itself, okay? So Bitcoin itself has been putting in a very favorable bullish structure. What is that? It's a rounded bottom. We all know that to make bottoms, you round them. To make tops, you round them, okay? And what do I mean by that? You can see I've drawn in this sort of semi-moon uh, half cup structure that you can see on this W structure, okay? It's a reversal pattern, okay? And more importantly than that, on the higher time frames, you can see this level of support has been held by Bitcoin's price action since June, okay? Mid-June, okay? That's about 100 days of testing these lows and holding them. And now you're putting in a rounded bottom for reversal to the top side. Now, this is all theoretical and you will say, oh yeah, great ideas, Dean, okay? But who's to say that it's going to play out? It's highly unlikely. I think it's gonna break down. We're gonna go to 12K. The bull market's already started, but you're not gonna see it in Bitcoin necessarily. You're going to see it in altcoins first. How do I know that? All right, now let's go into Bitcoin dominance. And by the way, I'm going fast, but I've done all of this work during the week, during my live streams, fleshed it out, gone step by step, taking time. So if this really interests you, definitely jump on the live streams during the week. I, I live stream about around 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every weekday. In any case, look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, all right? This is the weekly chart, meaning every candlestick is a week's worth of price action. Look at what we've put in since 2018. We've put in a massive head and shoulders pattern. For my pattern traders, you know this is a bearish pattern with confirmation upon breaking the neckline, okay? And we are currently 
at the neckline, which is about the 40% level, okay? What does this mean in all intents and purposes? This means if this chart goes down and it breaks down, that this means that every other asset in cryptocurrency by and large is going to gain against crypto or against Bitcoin. All right. This only happens in two scenarios. Either everything's going down and Bitcoin's going down more, all right, and other things are going down less, which is highly unlikely. We do not see that in big dumps. Or everything's going up, but Bitcoin's not going up as fast as those other things, right? That means altcoins are moving and gaining market value, market crypto market cap more than Bitcoin is. That is what we call an alt season. This is exactly what you're seeing, okay? And this is why, now let's move to our Bitcoin chart, our crypto chart. This is exactly why when I say the bull market started and people are like, what are you talking about? I've seen it. We've been at the 19K level, the 20K level for all this time. Nothing's happened. Well, you're not looking in the right place. Should you look for Bitcoin to lead an alt season? Of course not. This is why people in XRP know exactly what I'm talking about. These are the lows that you formed, right, for 100, 130 days. You've been at these lows. You've been at these lows. You've been at these lows. Start of the bull market right here. OK, you can clearly count one, two, three, four waves already. This is wave four. You're going to have to put in a fifth wave. OK, you have impulsive price action on the large time frame. The bull market started in XRP. The bull market started in Dogecoin, not as um, not as uh, accentuated as accentuated as in XRP. But the bull market has started in Dogecoin, right? These are the bear market lows right here. OK, you've put these in since june right and you have 100 plus days of price action at these levels you've tested it once you've tested it twice it's a big w pattern okay it's a big w pattern and you bounced off of this you created this descending wedge that you broke to the upside you retested it perfectly let's prove that to ourselves let's zoom in really quickly look at that perfect retest guys look at this look at this right here you broke it you came down, you tested it perfectly in wave two, sharp correction. You're putting in wave three. This is the bull market, high time frame. This is a four hourly time frame, okay? So the bull market's already started. You're just not looking in the right place. I do expect a green week because I do expect altcoins to follow suit and Bitcoin to eventually follow suit and break up and out of this W pattern. Guys, that is the analysis for the day. As I said, this is all concerted. This is a kind of a summary of my ideas for the week. If you're interested, definitely join the live streams. Would love to have you. I take questions. I take requests and all that stuff, uh, comments, uh, criticisms, and the like. Have a great Saturday, and I'll see you tomorrow for another quick update. Bye. Hitting them one at a time with these ill rhymes. My love at the door, free drinks hitting the floor.